In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change your Apple ID password and we're gonna set up step-by-step step a brand new password so we can gain access into our iPhone even if you have forgotten your Apple ID password. And hey, this is a very simple process that only takes five to 10 minutes. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues and I also do share cool tech hacks. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing to the channel. Throughout this video, we'll be going through the process of changing your Apple ID password. And please note that this also works even if you have forgotten your Apple ID password. If you are stuck and you have your phone blocked, do not worry because you can actually regain access by changing your Apple ID password without even remembering your old Apple ID password. But hey, it's very important for you not to skip this video, otherwise you might miss a very important step in the middle of the process. So stick to the video till the end and follow the steps carefully. In this video, we'll be going through two sections where I'm gonna show you two different methods of changing your Apple ID password. The very first method is the easiest one where you have access to your iPhone and all you need to do is just to use your phone in order to change the password. But the second method is the tricky one where you have your phone completely locked and you do not have access to your phone because it keeps on asking for your Apple ID password. But I'll show you how to change your Apple ID password on a different device, like on a computer or on a different mobile phone that does not have any link with your Apple ID password. I'll show you step-by-step -step process of how to change your Apple ID password and then simply unlock your locked phone with the new Apple ID password. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Moving into the very first method where you actually have access to your phone and you simply want to change your Apple ID password. The first step in here is actually to hop into settings on your phone. Now we're assuming that your Apple ID is already logged in into your iPhone device. So once you hop into settings, you need to tap here on your name or Apple ID, and this is what you'll be looking at. So over here, you need to tap here on password and security once. It takes a few seconds depending on your internet speed and boom, here we go. We've got over here an option which says change password. So I'm going to tap once on that option and then it's going to ask me to type in my passcode. The passcode that it's asking me to type in is the passcode that I used to unlock my iPhone device. So it's not your Apple ID passcode. Okay. So let me quickly type in my passcode. So once you're done typing in your passcode, it's take a few more seconds and then you're going to be on a new page, which allows you to type in your new password for your Apple ID. Let me quickly type in my new password and make sure that you guys type a password with at least eight characters long, including a number, an uppercase letter and a lowercase letter. It's very important to make sure that you have a complicated password so you do not get hacked easily, okay? Let me quickly type in my password. So once you're done typing in your complicated password, simply tap here on change to change your password. And then it's gonna ask you whether you wanna sign out of other devices using your Apple ID. In my case, I'll tap here on do not sign out because I don't need to sign out from my any other Apple ID. Do not sign out and here we go. It takes a few more seconds and then boom, we're good to go. And we've just set up a brand new password into our Apple ID from our phone. Now, let me quickly show you the second method where you do not have access to your phone. For example, we've got here a screenshot. This is obviously not my phone. It's just a screenshot in here to showcase to you guys how an iPhone looks like when the phone is not activated or when it's locked. Okay, so sometimes for security purposes, Apple locks down your phone if you try to reset your phone and then you wanna log in back into it you're going to be facing an activation lock screen just like this one. So you need to know your password. And if you have forgotten, you cannot change it by using this method. You need to use a different method in order to change your Apple ID password. And in order to do this, you can use your phone or your computer. Okay. So in my case, 
I'll be using my computer just to showcase to you guys and I would recommend you guys in doing it in your computer but if you don't have a computer do not worry you can use your phone simply hop into the same website that I'm going to here on my computer but on your phone the process is exactly the same so on your internet browser you need to go straight to icloud.com okay if you're using your phone just go straight into icloud.com and over here we've got an option which says forgotten your apple id or password so what you need to do is tap on forgot apple id or password and then wait for a few more seconds the page is now loading and then you've got in here an option which says are you having trouble signing in or please enter your apple id to get started so over here i'm gonna type in my email address so your apple id is nothing else than your email address that you use to log in into your apple device so once i'm done typing in my email address or my apple id i need to type in these four characters in here which is basically t66 and you next up once i'm done typing in these two information i'm gonna tap on continue in order to move into the next step wait for a few more seconds and then it's gonna ask you to confirm your phone number that has a relation with your apple id so the phone number that i'm currently using is this one right here which ends with these two numbers right here so you need to type in that particular phone number so once you're done typing in your phone number simply tap here on continue and then you need to look up for notification which will appear in one on your apple devices in my case i've got here a few devices connected into my apple id so all i need to do is open one of my devices in order to reset my password from but if you do not have any device logged in into your apple id all you need to do is tap here on enable to access any of your apple devices tap once on enable to access any of your apple devices and then it's going to provide you a few more options in here to reset your apple id the first one is to reset your password while signing in on a new device in my case i won't be going through this one and then you've got here use someone else's ios device okay if you have a friend or a family member you can use their device in order to sign in or you can use an iOS device at an Apple store. Okay, so if you have one of these ways of doing it, you can actually go for it. But if you do not, simply tap here on enable to use any of these options. Now, after going through that step, we've got in here another step, which is without an Apple device, you will have to wait to reset your password. So the fastest and the easiest way to reset your password is from an Apple device. But if you do not have access to anyone, you can provide some other information to verify your identity instead. OK, so this is something really cool from Apple side that allows you to safely restore your Apple ID, even if you don't have access to any device. OK, so all you need to do is tap on continue anyway. In my case, I won't be tapping here on continue anyway, because if I do this, this is going to block my apple id account for a few days because it takes some time for you to reset through apple themselves but i've done this before and all you need to do is tap on continue anyway and then it's going to ask you to provide your identity information for example your passport or your id okay you'll have to scan your id and then attach it to the website so that apple can actually reach out to you manually through mail or phone call providing you with a new link from where you'll be able to set up a brand new password this is going to take you around three to four five days but do not worry trust me the process really works and it's gonna help you regaining access into your apple id so this was it for today guys thank you so much for watching fixed by shack and thank you for making it till the end of the video if you have any questions or doubts do leave them in the comment section below and i'll make sure i get back to you asap as soon as possible thanks for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one peace